Um, one of my favorites of your books, which is I think kind of in the middle of this whole stream was dealing with Darwin. And I thought, wow, you know, for anybody to actually put a dinosaur on the cover <laughs> of a trade book, that takes some guts, right? <laughs> but I remember reading the, um, I think you were kind enough to, to send me a review copy and I gave you some comments on that. Um, but I remember reading that and I was so struck at the notion of differential innovation capability, depending on where you were in the kind of arc of a whole sector unfolding. Yeah. Uh, and the difference between complex systems and, and high velocity um, systems. And maybe you could expand on that a little bit. Well, both of those are important so, because, you know, we talk about innovation, everybody, and you mentioned a lot of people still make the Mecca, the Mecca trip to Silicon Valley to see well, what's going oh, on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've we got to ride around on the Google bikes and get yeah, our the whole thing, Exactly. Space. That kind of thing. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a story about disruptive innovation, which is the beginning of, of technology-based markets. They all, the, the big ones all start with a disruptive innovation, but that's like saying act one, scene one is the key to Hamlet. You know, it, it's a five act play. And, and, and so what happens is in the early market, there's a lot of focus on technology-based innovation it, it, and, and people kind of believe, they, the believers get together and they say, what can we make happen with this magic beans, right? The next set of innovations have to do with really much more practical application-oriented innovations. And so, so they, they kind of combine product leadership and customer intimacy, and they focus both of those on a particular niche market or vertical market. And, and that's what kind of, that's the crossing the chasm playbook about taking those kinds of innovations. So it's still product innovation, but now it's, it's, it's things like, how can, I, how can I adapt that more specific to an industry or, or a consumer target? And then when well, we had the tornado, which is what everybody and his mother wants to get on, you know, Wi-Fi or now Zoom or, or whatever. And there you realize you still had to have product leadership, but now you needed operational excellence, but it was operational excellence for ramping, not, mm -hmm. not for squeezing. Mm -hmm. pride. Yeah. How do you, how can you, how do you keep the wheels on the bus as you're going from 50 to 500 miles an hour, which was a really interesting set of innovation challenges. And then you do get to mature markets where you say, look, it's, Frankly, good enough is largely good enough now. So product leadership is no longer really the key to the class mm -hmm. of innovations. Now operational excellence for cost takeout and customer intimacy for that sort of second and third, fourth uh, offer that gets it you know, even more and more delightful and you get to an Amazon or you get to something like that. So the point about it was just to have, look, there is a taxonomy of innovation types don't don't just try to don't don't try to be uh, act your age you know act your market's age uh, you know, and, 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 and do that and then in the middle of that what happened was in at least for the tech sector in the 90s it was all the b2b companies who were successful so it was oracle it was cisco it was microsoft it was it was uh, you know um, uh, any of the any of the intel you know all those guys when the tech bubble burst, all the consumer companies came in. So then it was Google, it was Facebook, it was Amazon, it was Apple. And, and people said, well, we need to be more like Apple. That's, they said, no, there's really these two architectures mm -hmm. called the complex systems architecture and the volume operations architecture. Two different sources of, in, two different, completely different uh, financial models, business models, operating ratios, innovation models. And people were trying to take lessons from one and into the other and it didn't work. And so that was the other, that was the other key idea.